Well, when I, I used to feel really uncomfortable around by being around other people with disabilities. I was like the queen of denial when it came to my own disability. Um, because I was in a small town, I was very isolated. And I could pretend I was like everybody else, even though there was like an obvious difference. And I was able, like, because I was able to find my entry point, I was, you know, able to participate in everything I wanted to participate. So that just kind of fed my denial and my, and my belief that I, you know, there's nothing different about me. And, but when you're dealing with, you know, day-to-day -day life, like I would call and make a reservation at a, a restaurant and hotel and my parents would say, where is it? Is it wheelchair accessible? I'm like, I don't know. And I would have to call back and then, you know, make change plans or whatever, because it just was not in my, in my brain. Like I, I did not think about it at all. And so when I would come across somebody else with a disability, it was like holding up a mirror and I couldn't pretend that I, I was, anything other than disabled. Like it just reflected it right back to me. And when I was talking to a friend one day and she said, you know, your disability is a mis isn't a mistake. You're not a mistake. I kind of, I'm sure I heard that message before, but it really resonated with me when she said it. And I realized maybe not in that moment, but after really processing it, that I'm not a mistake and there's got to be a purpose behind this, my disability. And instead of running away from it, pretending that it didn't exist, I began to embrace it and celebrate it. And that's when I was able to make the complete 180 degree shift from being uncomfortable around other people with disabilities to really, now I work with kids with disabilities and serve them and their families. So it was through stopping the fight with my with myself and kind of admitting reality and finding the greater purpose to my difference that opened that door for me.